Hi everyone, my name is Destiny and I'm doing my second video, my second episode of the songs that have helped me get sober or stay sober. Doing my photo shoot of the song that I'm picking today that has helped me get through those hard times and interpreting either the song title or the lyrics or the album cover. I'm really excited for this one. I'm hoping these pictures come out good because I have props that I'm using for this one. I'm jumping right in. My hair is straightened. I straightened it yesterday when I did a YouTube video and it's perfect for the shoot I'm doing right now and I'm so excited for how it'll come out. I'm a little nervous because I always try to make sure that my photography skills and like my modeling like it's all done by me by myself i'm not no professional and it's for fun so i try to do my best to make sure my pictures come out pretty good for the second episode of songs that helped me stay sober or get me sober i am using the song must get out by maroon 5 and that is on the album songs about jane i would repeat and replay this song over and over but i want to do the album cover i think it's so pretty it's red the hair of the woman in the on the album cover jane i'm pretty sure that's her of the red i love the long hair the flowers so i got all those things and i'm just so excited to put that red look together and my hair is poofy and straight it's not as as like how it is in the picture but it's still perfect to kind of create that concept of the red long hair the flowers in the hair like I'm just, I'm excited for it. I just love doing photos and getting dressed and modeling it's the funnest thing ever so from what I remember I actually obviously I, I've known of this song because my mom loves Maroon 5 so I grew up listening to Maroon 5 and this album specifically so when I was a kid I would just love to put on this uh this album I would tell my mom play Maroon 5 all of the songs on the album are so good there was a point in time where I was doing so well it was I think 2000 oh, I don't even know like before COVID or during COVID I would listen to this song a lot and I was drinking but I wasn't that bad I was going to school and I was at my healthiest I was eating right working out going to school doing all the things you know to make a good life for yourself i would listen to this song and just be happy listening to it like on my playlist and then when my drinking got really bad it was when i was dating someone so i am bisexual and i did have an ex-girlfriend that i would drink with a lot like it was bad it was a toxic relationship it was terrible i loved her as a person um, but like when we were together drinking, it was just like, you know, you bring out your worst sides when you're with a toxic person and that's how it was. The song kind of triggered a lot of emotion when I would listen to it while I was drinking because like on my own, when I would be in my room or fallouts we were having all the time, it would be me trying to figure out okay what do i do like i don't know if i should fix this or if i should be friends still and the drinking involved is just like i was trying to pivot to figure out how i would start my sobriety journey because with a person who also likes to drink and then all of these problems that are coming up with whatever is happening in an unhealthy relationship was having a hard time figuring out what I wanted to do and how I wanted to proceed with my relationship or not, but also with alcohol. So whenever I would listen to that song, I would think about that person. And then also, I always like to digest the lyrics of the song of what resonated to me. The lyrics of, I'm lifting you up, I'm letting you down. I'm dancing till dawn, I'm fooling around. Literally, that was like my whole relationship with this person, like drinking, ups and downs of the relationship, lifting each other up at some point because we both were trying to like not drink and to be better people. I moved to a different city in Arizona and living with a roommate, I was throwing up all the time, blacking out, going through so much fucking shit of just i was just drinking every day i would drink a whole bottle by myself that's how bad it was the song of the title i started to resonate a lot more with once i 
got rid of that relationship and started to think about myself and how I wanted to be better. As I was living my life where I was in a different city, I was thinking about the title, like must get out, must get out. I was miserable in my apartment. I was living with a friend and our relationship got so bad. A lot of it had to do with just I feel like us both as two people, like it, it was an, an unfortunate situation, but I felt like I was living in hell being in that apartment. And when I would listen to that song, I was just always thinking about like, oh my God, I need to get out of this fucking city. Like must get out. I need to get the fuck up out of here. But like my ex friend was making my life miserable and living in an apartment with a friend never really works out. Like honestly, you shouldn't even, no. I <laughs> don't recommend. I need to get the fuck up out of here. I can't wait until this lease is up. And while I was there, I was dealing with a new person in a new relationship. And I just kept drinking, kept drinking, kept throwing up, getting blackouts, being mistreated, mistreating other people, and just being that party girl and being that drunk girl. Y'all, I got so much stories on just even like the roommate situation. Ugh, like, I don't even want to get into it. I felt like this song, even the title must get out. I knew that there was a light at the end of the tunnel. I ended up still drinking because I barely got sober in 2023. Yeah, like I felt like this song was just such a trip to me for me being so little in the car singing this album and to now be an adult and having it feel like this is something that is helping me get through a sobriety journey. Looking in the mirror and being like, damn, who would have thought that this song would be something that would actually help me analyze or get through my drinking addiction. I just mixed this and this together and I feel like it came out pretty good. The album cover, uh, the woman looks naked and then it's just her hair, but I'm obviously not gonna be nude. So I'm gonna put on my bodysuit and then we're gonna put the flowers that I got in my hair and I'm gonna show you guys all the props. For my props that I'm gonna use, I love the big lips in the album cover. So I have this, like, I don't even know what it's supposed to be used for, but I use my jewelry. But I'm gonna use this of what she's holding because the box in the album cover is red and I don't have a box that's red. This is perfect. I got these from the dollar store and I'm gonna put some in here for like the sprouting of the album cover. Oh my God, does my hair look crazy right now? My hair looks so crazy and I feel like it's perfect because in the album cover her hair is like more of the thick strands and just like the animation of the album cover is just fabulous. The woman on the album cover also has a mole right there. Oh my gosh, how could I forget something like that? I'm gonna take the photos in my living room because I'm gonna use a prop also in there and it's my carpet. The carpet design that I have, it kind of fits the album backgrounds. Even though the background of it is black, it still kind of fits like the curves and the sprouting of the album. I don't know. The rest of these, and then I'm gonna put another one that I have in these lips as my prop to hold. It's gonna look so pretty. Okay, so now I'm in my living room and this is the carpet that I wanna use as like a backdrop. So this is the carpet. I think it's a pretty cool design, how it has like the swirls. Like, I just think it'll be pretty cute to use. I also forgot um, in the album cover, she has a bracelet on. So this is a bracelet, a crystal bracelet that I got. So I put the back drop up the carpet. <laughs> that is so funny, huh? I put the carpet up. It's literally over the TV because I didn't, I have a back backdrop stand, but I didn't feel like putting it up at all. I, I don't feel like doing all that, no. So I put this over the TV. I'm lifting you up. I'm letting you down. I'm dancing till dawn. You just gotta sing the song. I will take these pictures and I will come back to show you guys the results. So I hope you guys enjoyed the photos and the recreation of that album. I always like to end my model vlog sober songs videos of saying if you are struggling and need help with any addiction you could always reach out to me you can always use hotlines um 
websites and all of these resources that I list in my YouTube description. And I'll come back with another video of the next song that helped get me sober. So, bye!